was a quite interesting uh, conversation. And this was the idea for this pod. Exactly. Um, exactly. We have next week, I'm going to Berlin next week. What and, are you doing um, to the adapt to? Yes. You're really going to adapt to? Yes. What are you presenting? Um, I'm presenting a talk, a speech I'm actually working right now on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, uh, it's a talk about uh, RESTful development with Apache Sling. Wow. Just came nice. up with this idea. Someone nice. cannot join, so I got his slot. And I thought I want to, you know, share my ideas with cool. the rest of the community. I worked in the, in the data warehousing section. Oh, perfect. So I was working with databases and it was interesting. It's like the complete opposite what I did. I was working in TV, media, all the yes. fancy, nice looking stuff. So never really serious, serious stuff. You know, if my data gets lost, it's lost. I had so many other projects after that and people were like telling me, yeah, with your Apache Sling stuff, you can't do real proper applications. Why they tell you this? The question is, so what is their experience that they can tell you something like that? They told me basically that you can't do transactions with Sling. And then this discussion was over. Okay, <laughs> that's it. Yes. So they looked at it once and they say, okay. Yeah, they said I can't. There do are no transactions. transactions. Everything is restful, but without any state. So how yeah. to do any stateless. transaction? How can I yes. do a transaction in stateless mode? Yes. And it's true. By definition, it's by not. By definition, it's. It's not possible. It's just wrong. The yeah. definition: if it's a stateless thing, you can't go stateful. I got even thrown out of a project once. Why? <laughs> um, because um, they had to do a system it was um, uh, um, to, to configure products, a product configuration tool. And for them, they started the transaction discussion and they started to build a whole application with Spring and, and MVC, the other big for company. Sure. So basically I said every, and, and I asked them who's <laughs> the main consumer of it. Uh -huh. <laughs> and they said, it's the website. So well, why don't you, it's the website. <laughs> Well, why do you do like integration uh -huh. points? So what? Mm -hmm. what's the point of it? Uh, and they said, well, we can't do transactions. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and then taking something like a spring framework for that. Exactly. That's a heavy Which one. It makes like the thing so much yes. more complicated. Yes. I also think that, um, that many users, developers in this case, um, are afraid of breaking the problem down to little tiny tasks. You know, they see the big problem, the big picture, and that's why you have like this one big process. Yes, but uh, but this is what you have to do everywhere in life. You have to break it down. <laughs> you have to know what you want to do. Mm -hmm. You have to take out complexity. But at the end, if they understand that, yeah. working with observation, combining it, they have a powerful tool. Asynchron, right? Let's let yes. the whole thing be got yes. on, on, on the client side, UI perspective, and yes. on the server side, it's still so difficult uh, yes. um, to actually go with this approach, especially with request response pattern of HTTP. Uh, yes. I think maybe that's the problem. <laughs> the people are not used to that. They rather take, like you said at the beginning, take a big framework. This will handle everything for me. Yeah, but do you know what the framework uh, is? Yes. <laughs> I assume most of the people don't know it. They use a framework, there's everything for free. They use a small amount of the functionality they yeah. need, and the rest they don't care. And sometimes there's too much magic exactly. in the system, and you have to take out the magic. Maybe one update to HTL. Um, we will, or already have, <laughs> uh, release a name soon for it. So that's also the highlight of the Adapt2 conference that we will actually announce the first public public the new name. It's a, um, it's, it's a cool, fancy, nice <laughs> name. You saw the logo as well. I it's saw the logo. It's the very designer, cool. So, mm -hmm. um, and we will update on the conference as well about uh, the efforts to open source this. And even though you think it didn't have any relation to HDL, make your mind up. You can think about what you want to do like in long term. I don't know. Maybe we can resolve some of these topics. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks, Lydia. Thank you, Shanna. <laughs> <laughs>
and <laughs> bye guys bye <laughs>